Hey everyone, it's Mike and Corey here. Say hi, Corey. Hey, how's it going? And we just wanted to give everyone a quick update on what we've been working on. Sorry we've been relatively quiet for a while. What we've been doing is preparing in a lot of different ways for the public reveal of this game you see on my screen here, which is, as you can see, a two-player co-op brawler game that we're really thrilled to be working on with some really talented people in the Amiga community. And that's uh, Alex at uh, Enable Software and John at Pixel Glass, who both have a uh, long track record of making very nice quality completed games for the Amiga computer. And so this game actually runs on the 30-year-old classic Amiga computers but it is also uh, simultaneously being developed for modern platforms and devices. So you'll most likely be able to buy this game uh, eventually uh, for things like Windows on Steam and uh, iOS devices and things like that. So some of the things we, we worked on in preparation for the uh, public reveal of this game project is we worked on updating our website, which you can see here. I'll pause this for now. Uh, if I can get it to work. Oops. Oh, well, that works. <laughs> so we worked on our website, including we now have new video sliders for each of our game projects, as well as a uh, games page and a specific page for each of the games, like so, that you can keep you up to date and show you screenshots and the uh, gameplay trailer and stuff like that. And then we also, it was all in anticipation for a live stream that happened very recently on Twitch on the Amiga Bill channel. And it's now uh, an archived full stream that you can go watch if you're interested in finding out more about this particular project and the team that we're working with and our sort of goals, not only for this particular project, but for other projects that are either directly or tertiarily related to Amiga game development or just retro game development in general. Now that the live stream is done, we've got a few more things we've got to take care of that'll keep us busy for between one and two weeks, but after that point we should get back into very regular production and video schedule with, with Damon Claw and the other projects you're used to. And there's been a lot of great feedback and requests for Corey to start doing pixel art tutorials and he does have that in the works and uh, we should be working very soon with creating feedback videos for people making very high quality retro games where Corey and I will be talking with them to learn the exact technical and color uh, usage requirements for their particular games and then we would provide pro pixel artist feedback and suggestions and actual edits for them to consider to potentially further increase the quality, the visual quality of their already great games. So that's another thing that should be coming relatively soon. So I think that is everything. Is that did I catch everything, Corey? Is that uh, about it? Yeah, yeah. And just okay. to talk about the pixel art tutorials for mm -hmm. a second. I mean, my general idea is to give you a little bit of preview. Is mm -hmm. you know, I took a look around to see what other people might be sharing as far as that information goes on YouTube and right. not a lot of people approach it from a specific standpoint of specific game systems or anything like that in terms of retro art so I thought right. that would be part of the approach I would take is that way people could learn a little bit about the constraints of the systems as we've already talked about a lot but right. you know going across the board for different ones I know there might be a lot of people wanting to know about Amiga constraints too which right. e even myself I'm getting used to but right. Uh, I like that approach, and also mm -hmm. keeping it sort of genre-specific if you're going to do things like characters or environments for a specific type of game, things like that, and dividing them up that way so that it's right. not... You know, I don't want it to be so all-encompassing that people kind of... I like the idea of, of showing the various different genres because right. I do believe that usually people have a pretty good idea in their head of what type of game they want to make. Uh, right. Before they start something. So. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. There are actually quite a few good 
much more general pixel art tutorials out there, but they don't right. really deeply get into things like how to work within color constraints of actual existing classic platforms like, you know, the 8-bit Nintendo and the Genesis and the Super Nintendo. And then there's the genre, like you said, like what are the best sort of approaches or things to keep in mind for helping to make sure your character sprites show up really well against the backgrounds within those constraints and specifically for things like overhead kind of original Zelda style games versus side-scrolling games and things like yeah, that. I, th okay. I think that could be really, really helpful for a lot of people and entertaining. So that sounds great. I look forward to it. And I obviously will provide all the uh, help and input you would want for the Amiga version since I've been steeped in the uh, technical constraints of a classic Amigas for decades now. It's been a big passion of mine. So yeah, I look forward to all of that. And I think that's it for this quick update video. Thanks everyone for your patience. Thanks Patreon backers for your support and more to come in the relative near future. Thanks very much for watching.